Hello and welcome to the seventh in the series of tutorials on working with Zen Modeler. Uh, one of the things you might want to try and do at some point during your modeling is to create rounded corners. You can see here I've already got a prime example of that ready to show you. Now it looks very complicated but actually it's very easy. Many people have many different methods for creating rounded corners, but I've always said the easiest is the best. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at how exactly something like that is created. Right, first and foremost, let's get rid of the ex example one. Now for this we need to use cylinder click the menu as you learnt before then draw the cylinder like so that's fine set the number of uh, cross points to 32 okay and there we have our cylinder that we're going to be working on you'll find it handy when doing something like this if you maximize the main view you're going to be using by clicking the little red icon in the corner of each viewport like so now we want to go and select the face view mode which is this one here and then click the cylinder and now you can see the face view mode is activated and the way we work with this is you need to go into the select menu and select quad and then move over to roughly where the halfway point of the cylinder is left click and hold drag down, uh, right click and hold sorry drag up it's not quite right let's try that again left click, uh, right click drag down that's better and across so you get an exact half of the cylinder that is selected like so now we need to activate at this stage selected mode and we do this by pressing the spacebar and then we go into the modify and move now because we want to take this across make sure X axis is selected and click on one of the segments and pull the whole lot over to the right like so okay that's fine now we need to deactivate move and to select none to get rid of the previous selection now we need to do a similar thing only across the horizontal axis to select the lower half of the uh, cylinder so we follow the same procedure selecting quad into the halfway point of the cylinder right click and hold drag to the left and down that's it now we need to go back to the modify menu and the move item ensure that selected mode is still on and change the axis to Y take X off so now we're going to be going vertically so you left click and hold and pull it down that's fantastic right close the modify menu to select none now let's go back into object view back to the four view uh, viewport and there you can see you have created an object with rounded corners but what if you only wanted the actual side bits these the outside not the top and the bottom well that's very easy to do you simply go back into maximize view on the top so you can look straight down onto the object go into the uh, face mode click again go into select and choose single and then just right click to select these segments remember you'll have to do this twice obviously for 
the top and the bottom. There. Then we go into the modify menu and select delete and then left click. Now that doesn't appear to have made a lot of difference but now you can see that the segments here are now on the bottom. If I just switch back to the four view mode you can see what we've done. There we are. So now let's get rid of these seg segments. Select then single. Right click to select, left click to deselect. Sorry, left click. Right, right click, that's it. Let's keep going. to the modify menu, select delete and click. And there, if we go back to the original viewport, we can see that you just now got the outside of the of the object that we created. So that is how a simple way of how to create curved corners. See you in the next one.